Thank you. Uh, so this is a joint work with uh, Eric Place and Renee Drobenfield. So let's uh, start with problem definition. Oh, is it better now? So um, we focus on the problem of finding relevant features in distribution. Assume that there is a, a and there is an unknown distribution over um, heart attack patients, and you want to find a set of features that uh, correlates with uh, heart attack. Uh, for each patient, you get a binary binary feature list. Uh, for example, here uh, the features are like smoking, exercising, gender. And now you want to find a set of relevant feature and irrelevant feature. But what does it mean to be irrelevant? So if you um, see a bunch of um, patients as the samples, and you see like half of them are male, half of them are female, you may conclude that actually uh, heart attack doesn't does not uh, correlate with gender. Um, so if they if if a feature is uh, distributed as the same uh, as what you expect, you can say these are irrelevant feature, and then the rest of the feature uh, would be considered as relevant feature, uh, and I'm going to call them Honta features. So we made to solve this problem, we made an assumption that the irrelevant features are the features that are distributed uniformly. So for example, uh, in the previous uh, example, back to our example, if I partition the domain element based on the relevant feature, for example here, exercising and the smoking, in each chunks, the probability of getting a male or female is uh, a half. So within each chunk, it's uh, uniformly distributed. So if I uh, define the problem formally, uh, I'm going to call a distribution a k hunt distribution if there exists uh, a subset of coordinate j, uh, of size k, such that for any two vectors x and y, if they agree on its uh, setting and the set on the coordinates in j, then the probability of x and y are equal. Or basically, if they are in the, in the same chunk, then uh, they have the same probability. Another way of defining this distribution is that for any uh, vector x, uh, the probability of x is the probability of falling in that specific chunk, and then over the number of elements in that chunk. Because it's uniform, you can just divide by the number of elements. So uh, there are two problems that we're considering in this um, paper. Uh, so we want to see if there is um, a small set of coordinates such that the, uh, the distribution can be actually described by uh, those set of distribution. Or, and if you, we know that uh, such, such a set exists, uh, which uh, features or which coordinates are uh, in there. So the first problem is called testing problem, and the second problem is called learning problem. So this problem has been considered in different mod models and uh, contexts. Uh, so here is just a few examples of what we have. And now I'm going to explain you the learning algorithm and then the testing algorithm. So we consider the pack learning model. So we have a distribution P. We draw a bunch of samples from uh, P. Th the P is unknown, but we can just draw samples from it. And then we output the distribution P prime such that P prime is a K-Hunter distribution. And also, it's close to the, uh, this the original distribution P. Um, by close, I mean the total variation distance is uh, less than epsilon. So we can actually uh, show that uh, um, learning k hunter distribution requires 2 to the k over epsilon squared plus uh, k log n over epsilon samples. And uh, you can get this, uh, almost get this, with using the cover method. But the problem with cover method is that it's um, doubly exponential in terms of k. And uh, we have a, another algorithm that the sample complexity is uh, dependence is like 2 to the 2k instead of 2k, but the running time um, is much better. So for an interesting regime where k is log n, uh, then uh, like the we somehow somewhat bigger we have bigger sample complexity, but the, the our um, dependence to the n is not exponential anymore. And then um, have this you should have this in mind that uh, the size of the domain here is two to the n. So all of these sample complexity are still sublinear in terms of sub size of the domain, but uh, exponential in the uh, basically dimension. And now I'm going to show you the learner, the epsilon learner 
that I just mentioned. So we, here we leverage the Fourier analysis. So we define for um, for the fun uh, we can consider the distribution to be the probability mass function on the binary vectors, and then we can define the Fourier coefficients of each subset S based on the parity function here. And then we know that we can easily estimate based on the samples we draw from P, we can actually easily estimate this Fourier coefficients. And what uh, we can show is that if you um, if the distribution P is a k junta distribution on the set J, uh, for any set S which is disjoint from the set J, the, uh, the Fourier coefficient of set S is zero. So uh, basically all the non-zero um, Fourier coefficients are a subset of J. So this would uh, imply that if we define a function f of j prime for any j prime of size k, for any subset of coordinate of size k, to be the sum of a squared Fourier coefficients of all its subsets, um, then you can see that f of j, uh, f of j will be maximized on the set j. Because basically j is the set that captures all the non-zero values. But this is not enough because we just estimate f of j and we don't have the exact value for f of j and we basically need to show that there is a gap here. So we show that if um, p is a Hunter distribution on the set j, but it is epsilon far from being a Hunter distribution on the set j prime, then f of j minus f of j prime um, is at least this value. It means that there is a gap between uh, the value for the actual J and the basically the correct J and any wrong answer for J. And then the algorithm is as follows. We iterate over all possible subset J. We compute the estimation of our F of J and output the one uh, which maximizes this uh, value. And then because there we showed uh, that there was a gap, then I can say I ruled by this algorithm, we rule out uh, all the wrong answers and then we output the distribution. So now I'm going to explain the testing algorithm. As uh, you might have heard the testing definition in the Runi's talk too. But um, so basically uh, an epsilon tester for k hunter distribution uh, is, um, is an algorithm that accepts any k hunter distribution uh, with some constant probability, let's say at least two ter, and rejects any distribution which is epsilon far from uh, being a k hunter distribution. And in the white area in between, it's OK if you answer or if you answer accept or reject, both of them are fine. And uh, we uh, proved the lower bound of uh, omega of a square root of size of the um, a square root of size of the domain over epsilon s squared. And for the interesting setting of k less than n half, uh, we can actually achieve a tight uh, upper bound. I mean, uh, off by a factor of epsilon, but it's fine. And what we can show is that based on the definition that I told you before, it's um, if p is a um, is a hunt k hunter distribution on the set j, it's actually a sub is a, a set of uniform distribution based on the different setting on j. So you can actually reduce this problem to problem of uh, testing a collection of distribution is uniform uh, or not. And then the algorithm is uh, for any possible. Mm -hmm. For any possible set J, uh, we consider the, the collection based on uh, the set J and then uh, test if the collection is uniform or not. And this is the place, basically, uh, we get the, uh, with our careful analysis, we get the uh, improvement in the running time. And it's not just testing like 2 to the k different uh, uniformity tests, so it's testing the, c the whole collection. So, so what I just mentioned was uh, definition of Hunter distribution, testing and a learning algorithm for that. For future direction, um, we can one can consider a tighter result for uh, this problem or uh, removing the uniformity assumption that I had in the be beginning. So we have uh, some uh, partial results on this and hopefully they will publish soon. Thank you very much and any questions?